Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at some really cool aquascape tanks from the 2018 aquatic experience but with one twist, you're going to be the judge. I want you to leave in the comments section below which tanks you think were the best. So let's do this. The way I've organized the video, the first few tanks are the larger tanks. That's a separate competition. And then we've got the smaller tanks, which is quite a few more. So why don't you tell me in the comments below which large tank you thought was the best. And let's do the top three tanks for the smaller ones. So list them three, two, one. I've got the names next to each one of the tanks. So take a look, tell me which ones you like. And if you would ever try to replicate them, which one do you think you try to replicate first? So let's take a look. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so here we go. I thought we'd start with the larger tanks. This is uh, the first one we're going to look at. I put the names of all the contestants. I tried to film that first. So when you are ranking them, go ahead and put the names down in the comments below. We'll start out with the larger tanks and then we'll move to the smaller ones. Let's do two different uh, competitions here. So that's tank number one. That's a jungle val. Here we go with the second one. I really, really like the, the use of the plants and it kind of looks like little oasises all over the place. And nice use of tiger barbs. So kind of unusual for a aquascape display, but pretty cool. Love the use of the wood and that is a reoccurring theme. I also like the substrate because that was something that, at least that color, not a lot of people went with that. This is one I, really really like I think for the larger tanks this is my personal favorite love the use of the neons neons are such cool fish they've got that subtle beauty uh, and they really pop in person on this tank they kind of shimmer which I think is cool the other thing I found interesting it looks like you know in terms of the the background uh, a lot of the aquascapers went with a, a lighter gray or very light blue or uh, almost a, a translucent sort of background uh, as opposed to very, very dark. And then of course, as soon as I say that, we have a darker background here. Uh, again, nice use of the, the wood and the plants are intermixed. I think it's cool that there are quarries in this tank, uh, as opposed to, you know, you see a lot of tetras, which are also very nice. And there are tetras in this tank as well. Uh, I think I see a rasbora or two back there. This was also big. We're having stuff sticking out of the top of the tank. And this is another really nice tank. I think this might be my personal second favorite uh, of the larger tanks. I just love the way it looks. I love the rock work and kind of that sloping kind of angle on both sides. I love the black neons. We've had these fish, they're super hardy. They're really underrated fish. I just think they're really super cool. All right, so now let's look at the tanks on the smaller side. So we'll go ahead and choose our, let's go top three favorites for these. Uh, this is the first tank. Again, I put the names there. So if you want to put that in the description, your rank three, two, one. Uh, a lot of plants here. In my mind, it seems like it would be harder to get the scale right on a smaller tank and get the depth on a smaller tank. And so many of these tanks were looking really good. I think if you were to look at the aquascapes, you know, a few years ago, Compared to now, it just seems like a lot of people have stepped up their game dramatically in terms of really getting that depth and the use of rocks and the use of wood. Uh, just the combinations are really quite stunning. This is a great tank. You know, again, I like the depth. As a kid, I loved looking at tanks and imagining where the fish are going and going in and out of wood or decorations uh, and caves. And any aquascape that replicates that for me is something really cool and now this is interesting because this is a tank there wasn't a lot of gravel being used uh, they decided to go with more of a river rock sort of gravel uh, they use guppies as well so that was a bit unusual for something in a uh, aquascaping contest but pretty cool and again here's something where you've got a lot of wood a lot of plants intermixed I see some java fern and I'm not a huge plant expert, but I do see, it looks like I see some jungle valve back there. And again, you've got that lighter background. And I really think when we set up some tanks in the future, I would like to get a few tanks with that sort of look. Because as you know, a lot of our tanks have a black background. And this is pretty cool. We got some Tetras in there. 
uh, the lighter rock. So that was something that a few people did where they, they decided to go with more of a brown tone instead of the, the more dragon stone look. So that was interesting. Uh, and then we come over here. And again, we've got that, that brown rock and nice use of jungle. But I like the plants, plants that are hanging down. I also like the fact that they use shrimp. I think a lot of these displays would lend themselves well to having shrimp as opposed to fish because these tanks weren't huge. I don't know the exact dimensions or the gallons, but if I had to guess, probably somewhere in that 10-ish gallon range, maybe slightly larger. Uh, this one here was super cool. I think this was my favorite or one of my favorites of the small tanks. Again, a lot of depth and you know, you could just imagine if that was something like in a tropical rainforest. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, some Got some Tetras in there. The one thing I always think about is what it would be like to have to maintain these tanks and clean them. But uh, yeah, this one won best in show, but don't let that influence your voting. Uh, I think the previous tank we just saw there wasn't quite done. And then here again, this is it's, it's pretty cool. Like I kind of like the path in the middle, and nice use of stone and some shorter plants. And again, here's another one of these tanks where you've got a little bit of gravel kind of mixed in with the sand, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I like the use of plants, uh, the more red in the background. I'm assuming this tank wasn't finished just because there's really not much going on there. Uh, this was another one that I really enjoyed. Again, I, I guess I tend to like those these tanks that have you know, a, a pathway kind of in the center that looks like you'd be walking through a tropical rainforest. And, and again, this was something I really did enjoy. It's a nice looking tank. Again, I like the substrate because, you know, you see it's a different color than what a lot of people were using. So, you know, I can certainly appreciate that. And also they used a betta as their display fish, which I also thought was cool. To, and there's a snail in there too. It looks like a mystery snail. And I don't remember seeing too many of the aquascape tanks using bettas. Pretty cool. I, I like this one quite a bit as well. And again, you just, the quality. I mean, it's unbelievable how many of these tanks are are just next level stuff and i i'm assuming this is moss all over the tank at least that's what it looks like and i just think it's a pretty cool uh, combination with the rocks uh, this is one here again different from a lot of what we saw uh, it looks like some kind of maybe uh, black sand going on there uh, less rock work more plants Another nice looking tank. Apparently this one took third place. Uh, again, it, it's, I like the, the little pathway. I like the, the fact that the, the plants are kind of up there on the wood. I guess probably the only thing I would probably have wanted is that tree on the right hand side to be pushed back a little bit further. It'd be easier to see things, uh, uh, livestock when they're in the, in the tank, but way better than I could ever do. Uh, here we've got uh, mostly plants. I think there is a little bit of, of uh, rock work in there. And then here we've got a, a more simple uh, sort of aquascape. I like the use of the brown rocks. Uh, maybe the skull's not quite for me, but again, it's something different. Again, here we've got a, a, I like the fact that they use shrimp. And I think that's cool. Again, I didn't see a lot of shrimp in these displays. It looks like some rummy nose tetras as well. And we come on over and I like the use in this tank. We've got some lighter substrate. This is, I really like this tank because it's very, very different than what anybody else did. The use of the brown rock. It looks like they silicone these rocks together or glued them together. I just thought it was interesting because it was different than what a lot of the other people were doing. Uh, this is nice as well. We've got a little bit of livestock in there. is another tank where you know not quite as elaborate as some of the other things that we see you know plants are still relatively small but I bet if it were growing in it would probably look uh, pretty nice we 
Yeah, I like the color of the rocks. It was different from what a lot of people were doing. You know, the Dragonstone is really in right now, that, that darker gray. Uh, so I, I did appreciate the tanks that kind of did something a little bit different and went with a, uh, a more earth tone rock like we see here. I also like this quite a bit. This is a fun little tank. Again, we've got some Tetras kind of swimming around. I like the fact that this wood was kind of like a central piece. It, it just looks like an old growth tree in the middle of a rainforest. And these last few are really quite something. This was one of my favorite tanks. Again, common theme is you've got that central pathway that looks like you could walk through a tropical rainforest. Uh, not a lot of space there for fish. So if you were doing livestock, again, I just think shrimp would be something to consider. This is one, I don't think it won an award, but it was absolutely one of my favorites because there's a cave in there. And I thought what would be really cool is if that cave was backlit, that would have really added something. So maybe put like a small light and you could have seen just the cave itself illuminated. And this is the last tank of the, the small ones. Again, kind of like uh, nice use of plants and rocks. So pretty cool overall. All right, everybody. So those were some really cool aquascape tanks. A lot of variety, a lot of great ideas. I like looking at those tanks and trying to figure out how I could implement some of that into some of the tanks I have here. Even though a lot of those tanks are well beyond my capability, it's still fun to see. So if you enjoyed this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.